And we're going to show you today, aside from the vertebrates, that we should build expensive facilities, even though it is harmful to our environment, in two main ways, or at least two, uh, at least two ways that we believe. Our first argument is that this is a priority, because it depends on human lives. And we're going to ask this question, how will the environment matter if half the population gets killed by this disaster? And our second point is that the environment can always recover because the human life works, because of, because of us. However, it can, uh, 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 so firstly, let's be very clear about what we stand for in this debate. We're okay with building expensive disaster prevention facilities. However, we are not okay with wasting thousands and millions of human lives because of the money we're going to waste. Now, let's get directly to our main, uh, to our first argument, which is that it's, it is a priority because of the human lives. And that is for three reasons. First, these disasters will damage the environment, like the tsunamis and, uh, and volcanoes. But, it, but the environment will be damaged anyway because of, the, of, these, of these disasters that would happen once in a once in a thousand years. So in that case, you have two choices. It's either we have human lives, uh, we have no human lives and no environment, or we still have help, or we still have our human lives, but it's still no environment. Second reason is that we've been having the most dangerous climate change and environmental change and impact. And yet, we've recovered from it. We recovered. So it shows that we can still manage to recover, to uh, protect the environment. And third, and not, uh, last but not least, is that of course they might be expensive. But let us know, I will tell you something, that it is a long term investment because, because uh, it contributes to the requirements of the environment uh, with those places. However, uh, big countries won't need this because they can recover uh, by themselves because they have the economy, they have money, they have everything they need. However, small countries cannot recover from these uh, once in a lifetime disasters. So in that case, we want equality between countries and we want these small countries who not, unfortunately do not have the chance to stand for themselves, to fight and to, and, and to uh, invest uh, to prevent these disasters. So the question is, what is the most important thing? The insane short-term money or the same deal half of the half or more than a half of the human life population? Thank you.